Chopstain's log. Today it's September 19, year 2008. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, today about a clutch failure problem. Okay, let me show you something about the clutch failure. My predator just crashed due to the clutch failure. Okay. Okay, let me talk, tell, talk about uh, the clutch. Okay, so this is a clutch. Uh, the clutch lining has a uh, worn out due to the hot start because one of uh, one of the flight I accidentally reversed the reverse the throttle setting when I switched the receiver from a uh, Futaba to to Spectrum due to the laziness I too lazy to open up the carburetor and look at the let's call this uh this is a point A point A point B and point C okay Okay, if the, the 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 pressure on the point B is 100 pound, what will be the force, the pressure on the point C? Okay, I would say it's all it's it, it's half. You know why? Because uh, it's a very uh, sy symmetrical. Let's consider this is uh, let's consider only the half the half moon clutch you. Okay. This is point A, point B, and point C. I guess it's easier if I just draw it. <laughs> okay, the area. Okay. Okay, this is point A, point B, and point C. Okay. Let's assume this is a this is a, a lever. Okay. Let's make this a fixed point. The point A. Point A is a, is a hinge. Okay. The projection. Let's project this is the force. Okay. This is the force. Centrifugal force. Now, due to the no last lining, I want to compute the centrifugal force here at point C. Okay. Yeah. What is the centrifugal force of point C? Okay, it's look this looks symmetry. This is a let's say the distance from A to B is X and the distance from B to C is Y. Okay. X and Y is equal because it's symmetry. Okay. Due to the physics, if you re still remember the physics, torque clock clockwise is equal to torque counterclockwise. Assuming this is a pivot point at point A, torque clockwise, okay, this is a pivot point. Torque clockwise is equal to torque counterclockwise. There, torque going up is also equivalent to torque going down. Okay, if the assuming the torque is 100 pound 100 pound okay what will be the torque of the point c okay so how you compute it so the torque 100 pound times x is equal to torque the counter torque point c point c multiply by 2 because the x and y is equal so the force exerted on point C will be half of the force exerted on point B. It will be just 50 pound. Okay. So that will be a 50 pound. Okay. So the force has been reduced to 50%. Okay. But look. If you notice, this is not a straight line. It's a curve, okay? So what we need in a computation of a frictional force, what we need is a force perpendicular to the surface, okay? This is a frictional force. Okay, this is... What we know that the force here is 50%. Okay, going down. 
But what we're interested is the force on the surface. This force, okay, that force, okay. There. So what's what's the computa computation for that force? Okay. Let me show you. Okay. This is a part of a half moon. Now, if we're going to project a line, let's project a line here. Tangent. That is tangent to the circle. Okay, tangent. There. Let's make a line here. Okay. 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 There. Okay. This line is tangent to the circle. What we need to look for is the force at this area. This area. Okay, what is this force? Okay. If you notice, we are going we can compete for this force. This is a centrifugal force, okay? No, not that's a centrifugal force. This is the centrifugal force, but this will give you the apparent, the apparent centrifugal force experienced at point C. Okay? The apparent centrifugal force. Okay, how do you compete for the apparent centrifugal force? If this is 50 pounds, what will be the force here? Let's just compute it. If you notice, you, you can create a, a, a triangle here. If you project this point, this is 90 degrees. We're going to project a line here. Okay, this is 90 degrees. Okay. We can compute the force here by using triangulation. You will notice it, this one will produce a triangle. Okay. If this is 50 pound, if this is 50 pound, what will be, this will be, I'm sure it's less than 50 pound. And this and length will be another less than 50 pound. Okay. So in short, this will create a triangle. Let's say this angle is, this angle created by, uh, okay, this angle is called theta. Okay. The force experiencing the apparent apparent centrifugal force is equivalent to the sine function of this one multiplied by the force here. This way, uh, what to call it? Let's call it a uh, maybe we we call it a uh, x force. X is here we call it xf x force and the force applied to the frictional force this force here we call it y force okay to keep it without using as a very uh, complicated scientific uh, function like Sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, very complicated. <laughs> There's an easier way of uh, solving it. So what you do, you just uh, measure the, the physical length. The physical length of this uh, triangle. The physical length of this triangle will be equivalent to the force here. And the physical length of this uh, triangle it's also the same force exerted on the y-axis. This is the x-axis and the y-axis.